In the basic ARCHICAD training, we placed a few dimensions in the 3D document. In this lesson, we'll see how to create such views and even more complex ones. By the end of the lesson, we'll have created a couple details. In the View Map, open the Floor Finishes Plans folder and double-click on the Zero Ground Floor View. In the Standard Toolbar, push the 3D Cutaway button. Click on the Left Cutting Plane tab, drag the plane inside the building, and click next to the middle point of the door between the entrance and the exhibition space. Now right-click on an empty space and activate the Show Selection Marquee in 3D command. Zoom out and turn the model to see the entire building. Click on the left cutting plane tab and drag one more plane to cut away the parking place. By clicking Finalize, place the plane. Right-click on any empty space not on cutting planes and choose the new 3D document from 3D command. In the dialog that appears, type 3D cutaway in the name field and click Create. 3D Document will open automatically, and it's also been created in the 3D Documents folder of the View Map. Switch back to the 3D window. Using the right hand cutting plane tab, cut away the right external wall. Switch to the 3D Document tab, right-click on any empty space, and choose Redefine based on the current 3D window. Then click Redefine Anyway. Right-click on any furniture object, chair or piano, and activate the Layers, Hide Layer, Context Menu command. The 3D Document content has already updated but we must save the current settings of this 3D document view as well. In the View Map, open the 3D Documents folder, right-click on 3D01 3D Cutaway, and select the Redefine with Current Window Settings command. Right-click on any empty space or on 3D01 3D Cutaway in the View Map, and apply the 3D Document Settings Context menu command. In the dialog that appears, open the Model Display Panel, check the Vectorial 3D Hatching checkbox, and click OK. Now let's add some labels. Activate the Label tool, and open its Settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Skin List to Label Favorite from the Lesson 26 Favorites folder. In the Type and Preview panel, select the Skin List label. Go to the Text Style panel, check the Opaque checkbox, and set the Text Fill Pen to 19. Click OK to close this dialog. Click on the Terrace slab, and select the Placed label. You can edit this label graphically. Drag the top left black node upwards to change the label height. Then drag the right hand black node to the left to mirror the label. When done, deselect the label. Place additional labels by clicking on all the slabs and the roof. As you can see, with just a few clicks we've created this very informative and beautiful view. Later, as you continue to study ARCHICAD, you'll realize that almost all actions in this user-friendly program require just a few clicks of the mouse.